with the Genesis Battle of Champions uh, Kickstarter in full swing, I thought I might want to show off some of the um, special cards I got. Things that uh, I, I'm lucky to have grabbed when I did and gotten into it now while I did for the collectible side of things. Having said that, totally a fun game to play. Looking forward to playing more. Um, but let me show you what I got. So this is my uh, Alpha Promo signed binder. So, page one. <laughs> we have the Alpha cards and a Bolt Shot promo card in foil. Um, I picked some of these up um, from... Oh boy, I don't remember. I think it was mostly from Dragon World, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, they're not maybe the premium Alpha cards, but I got my Quicksand so I can do my... Uh, troll deck, which doesn't work, but whatever, I got it. I also got the one band card, which I think is great to have. Not only do I have it in Alpha, I grabbed the Hydroblast promos that they had as well, which I think is uh, awesome. Uh, Subjugation Strikes. Um, oh, I'll get to those ones up there in a minute. Some of these we got through the, the Patreon and things like that. Um, these two cards are graciously signed, actually, by Stevio from um, Heads or Tails Gaming. Uh, and having said that, this is the one he created, right? There's his name, Stevio Torrell. Uh, and Damian did the artwork for the Necrolich. You may have seen my chibi version of the Necrolich uh, sucking the soul out of Stevio because I guess this game kind of sucks the life out of you because you're stuck in it and you can't say no to playing a game and being part of it. I should clarify, that's all in a good way that it sucks the life out of you, this game. Not in a bad way, if there can be such a thing. Now, here's where we get to the signed cards. So, these were graciously signed by Damian when I saw him at the, uh, uh, at the championship in November. Uh, and then we have these wonderfully signed cards, which were from the card creation contest. As upset I am as I am that I did not win any of these, that I did not get any of my cards printed in this, I cannot complain because these are wonderful cards from very wonderful people now that I've met them. You've got Will K. We've got Shahan. We've got Colette. We've got Darren and Darren. Yes, Darren got two. He's just that good that they couldn't say no to him. They needed to do two of his cards. Anyways, I got their signatures on it. So these are like amazing to me. I am very, very happy with them. Then we get to the promo section. So here's promos, most of them. As you can see, Pat came from the Patreon. If you are not a Patreon supporter, go support them now. I mean, you're still kind of getting in on the ground floor. The Kickstarter did just launch. You're going to get some great stuff and be part of a wonderful community. Like, I mean, aside from getting the cards, you're part of this incredible community, which is just awesome. I mean, and look, some nice full art promo cards here. Yeah, just beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. To be part of the part of uh, these guys. Another quicksand. So I've got two of my fifty quicksands are in here. Um, I don't know what the story is with Oni. It's the only champion that isn't appearing anywhere, and I did not do a chibi version of her, which I probably should just for the hell of it. Um, it is part of the organized play. These are organized play promos. You'll see the ones that say OP on them. So oh, that one does not. This one is just a regular promo. But yeah, there's some OP promos here. It is sorry, vampiric kiss. Uh, she is featured as one of the new champions, which is awesome. I cannot wait to do her card. I think it's uh, it's going to look incredible, I hope. I hope. That's kind of patting myself on the back. Um, then we've got a foil promo here of the, the one I cannot pronounce because I always say Behemoth wrong. There, I said it right for the first time. What do you know? Uh, and aside from that, well, that one, that's the only one on that page. Here is my Camilla signed page where I've got eight signed cards by Camilla because she was at the championship as well. Uh... My understanding is she's doing a lot more artwork for the Origin set, which is awesome. Um, uh, someone to watch for, too. She does everything, my understanding, she does everything original in pencil sketch and then translates them to digital for the painting process, which is great because it means there is an original piece of artwork to go with each one of these, whether it's for her collection, to sell, to promote, to whatever. It's nice to have. Uh, I'm, like, all digital, so I don't have that. We get the Damian signed uh, champions. I got all 12 signed on the art side. I'll let him choose. He wants to sign on the art side. Uh, and the rest of them are up there. We've got a signed Al Ilm. We've got a signed promo of uh, Long, right? Yes. And uh, on the beach attire. Uh, this was in one of my Patreon sets, which was a Alpha Rampage Toss. So it's not in the Alpha section of the binder, but that's because it is signed 
So I had to put it in the sign section. Just makes sense. Here's another promo we got at the actual championship. And this is probably my pride and joy is the double signed purifying wave signed by Damian and Asid. And that's my very limited um, specialty collection of Genesis stuff. Um, I was hoping to get more just to have because, you know, it's kind of cool to have some of this stuff like from, from early on. It's the sort of thing that I've missed with most other TCGs. Um, and it's even some stuff you can't get for other TCGs, like even new stuff, right? Like um, Fab or MetaZoo or any of these other ones um, because they're not local. Whereas I can like literally talk to these people that own and run Haunted Castle Gaming. Uh, anyone can really, like they're pretty approachable. So it's nice to actually know the person that you're, you know, collecting from sort of thing. Unfortunately, there's a lot of stuff a lot of people, a lot of companies just trying to jump on the bandwagon of collectability. Um, I'm not going to name names, but you can see them all over Kickstarter and other places. And they say the word collectible about 100,000 times in their uh, spiel. Um, of course, it's collectible. It's in the name, right? Collectible card game if you do CCG. You don't have to keep saying that. And the more you say something is rare and exclusive and whatever, it's not. Trust me, I got caught up in the 90s swing of comic books when everything was an exclusive first edition, special, chromium cover, etched, whatever. They're worth pennies, if anything, now. They're not worth what I originally paid for them. That's how bad it is. Uh, a game like this, five years in, four years in, um, well, <laughs> four years in production, uh, if you ask a Sid, I'm sure it's a lifetime of development. <laughs> um, it has some legs. It has something to stand on. And I can see it having a lot more longevity uh, going forward. It, it will push through. It's not going to be the flash in the pan that some of these other ones are or will be. Another thing that I know has been a concern for some people is the playability of the game because of how long it's been around. Uh, it's not something you have to worry about. See this part here? 152 unique cards. There's 152 cards in this set. There, um, and there's four new mechanics, there's all kinds of stuff, but like, of those, there are, if I'm not mistaken, let's get to it here, there's three repeats. Oh, I think it was higher up. There are three reprints. Other than that, you've, so you've got 149 brand new cards coming to the Kickstarter. Anything we saw at the championship in November um, will be stale dated when this is released in the spring. Like, it, it's just obvious. In 149 new cards, plus the reprinting, you know, Tsunami, which was one of the most sought after ones, there's not gonna be an issue being able to build a viable competitive deck out of just the origin set, I believe wholeheartedly. And I have no you know, prior knowledge of this. I, I know nothing about this game, but uh, about this release, <laughs> about Origins release. I know about the game, not about the Origins release, but I'm pretty confident that this should not be an issue going forward. New people jumping in, we're gonna be just as competitive as the other tier of people. Um, it seems like a very well-balanced and thought out game. And they have said that, you know, they don't want exclusivity. They don't wanna lock people out of things. So if, if a, meta gets developed that is pushing certain cards uh, they'll find a way to make it more competitive whether it's by printing repeats of those or uh not nerfing them but coming up with some way to defend against them in another set um i mean come on it's been four years and they have one banned card just one uh which is pretty damn impressive so go ahead if you can find any of these alpha cards at your lgs or anything or online somewhere go ahead and order them they're they're neat i mean i i actually really hope that they do some sort of uh, callback promo at some point where they grab the old layout and artwork, uh, uh, you know, like the um, the torn page and stuff like that. Maybe not exactly like this, but close to, like do something that's kind of uh, a callback to it. It'd be a nice little, you know, uh, frame treatment sort of thing to uh, for the nostalgic factor. I mean, I'm, I'm talking five, 10 years down the road, obviously not next year, but hopefully in a set in the next four or five years, they'll think of something like this as a promo and it'd be pretty awesome. Thanks for watching, champions, and I will see you in the battlefield. Or arena. Pretty sure it's arena. Whatever, it'll be the 5x6 grid where we, you know, duke it out and, and fight each other sort of thing. So, whatever. That's, that's where I'll see you guys in Tabletop Simulator or in person. Bye.